from Barbara Leonard. It's been a bruising few years. What do you do to keep your spirits up and keep going on? It's philosophical and it's basically that life is long and history is longer and everything worth fighting for is worth fighting a long time for. So don't let the daily stuff get you down. Have fun doing what you're doing because human affairs are really quite comic. If the more objectively you look at it, uh, the more silly we all look like. So engage in the silly game. Don't let it get to you. Have fun with it. See the, see the humour in all of it. Don't resent anyone. And keep on sort of making your arguments in a cheery way, contributing that way. That's the kind of basic vibe I've learned to cultivate within myself. Because certainly in the early years, it was very frustrating. And it was definitely more of a sprint than a marathon. So you throw everything in, you burn out, you get exhausted, you get frustrated. You stay on the internet all night long because you found another person who was wrong on the internet and everyone needs to be corrected. But you can't, you can't, you can't live like that. And also you can't get sucked in to other people's narratives. And so that's why I also think that one of the ways to really re-energize this year is to think about our narrative, the way we want this country to be, the way we think this country can be. Ignore everyone else, keep talking our stories, and then you'll find that people come in to put down or, or boost up or discuss what we're talking about. We shouldn't be chasing anyone else's narratives. The whole Brexit narratives are burnt out to dust. They're in the sand, the wheels have come off, they're falling apart. We don't need to talk about them anymore. We should be having fun talking about the kind of future that we want and feel liberated in doing so and find the energy in that. And, and that kind of you know, positive view that, you know, over, over, over time, you know, a country can experiment, can get things wrong, it can bounce back, it can get back in the saddle. And that all makes a great story. Think about it all from that viewpoint. And the fact that we were part of that, you know, and, and, you know, a really important thing on the global level as well. And we're part of that. Our communities are part of that. Enjoy that. You know, it is a rare opportunity. So let's embrace that and get stuck in.